Our technology is rapidly advancing. Within the past century, there has been an incredible amount of scientific and electronic advancement, especially regarding military tools and warfare. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three drone and weapon discoveries. Drone helps find a 90-year-old woman suffering from dementia. A video taken by a drone during a rescue mission of an elderly 90-year-old woman was published by the authorities of Greene County in Ohio. The woman in question suffers from dementia and was lost until the drone found her. Beverly Brown, the woman's daughter, believes that her mother was found solely due to the drone's help and that without it, she is unsure whether they would have found her mother at all. With the drone's aid, the woman was found after an hour of investigating her whereabouts, but it's believed without the drone it might have taken days. Fortunately, the elderly lady was found before sundown in relatively safe conditions, which likely saved her, for it's uncertain whether she could have survived the night. Beverly Brown spoke of how she discovered her dementia-suffering mother went missing. I checked the house, I found her purse in the garage without her billfold and her sunglasses, so I knew she'd gone somewhere. The notion of her sick mother leaving to go outside without telling anyone was fear-inducing for Brown, as she possessed no knowledge of where her mother might have gone. The issue with dementia patients is that they are fickle and finding them is always a struggle as they could go anywhere their fragmented memory leads, get lost and be unable to find their way back in their heightened confusion. Immediately after this discovery, Brown reported her mother as missing to the Greene County Police. The authorities took the case seriously and began their search for the woman, using the drone as a part of their investigation. When the drone discovered her, she was alone aimlessly wandering a wide field and then got caught in a brush and was completely helpless, unable to move or get herself out. Because of the drone, the police were able to reach and rescue her. Brown stated, he wouldn't have found her without that, I don't think. If they hadn't done that comprehensive and organized search, I really think Mom would have been out there all night. I really do. The idea of a frail, mentally unwell elderly woman trapped overnight in the wilderness is a horrifying one, and therefore it's a huge relief that the police were able to utilize the drone to save her. One of the detectives on the force, Matt Miller, claims his own family has a history of dementia and he has suffering relatives. As such, the fortunately resolved missing persons case is something deeply personal to him. He advocates for the use of drones for missions such as these. Although drones are seen as controversial by some, it's undeniable that they can be used to make a positive impact on the world and save lives. Especially with how drone technology is seemingly improving greatly each year, and the prices to obtain and produce them are no longer as expensive as they once were. The fire department and police stations could use drone technology in their searches and missions to rescue those in need in the future. AI drone may have hunted down soldiers in Libya. It's suspected a military drone attacked opposing forces in Libya of its own volition, as per a report sent to the United Nations by field experts detailing their concerns. This specific drone contains and is powered by an AI. Referred to as Lethal Autonomous Weapon System, it was fighting against militia fighters fleeing from projectiles in Tripoli. The drone, Kargu-2, allegedly hunted down the fighters and remotely engaged in unmanned combat, with them under no human supervision. The report lacks intel on sustained casualties during the battle. The AI-powered drones were allegedly programmed to attack targets without requiring data connectivity between the operator and the munition. In effect, a true fire-forget-and-find capability. The United Nations refused to make any official statements regarding this report, though it was sent to the UN's Sanctions Committee. The full report is 548 pages long, but sections of it have been published in the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists, a non-profit organization. Drones have been used in warfare for years, however they are typically controlled by human specialists. Previous US President Barack Obama utilized drone attacks to deal with terrorism and the conflict in the Middle East, 
and the USA's development of military drones has increased since the presidency of Donald Trump, who started using drones in Africa. Other countries have also used military drones, such as in the conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan. Russia, China and Israel all have control of military drone fleets. Although drones can be useful in rescue missions, there is much debate over their use for warfare purposes, which are seen by many as a misuse of their capabilities. According to the University of Maryland, Zachary Callenborn, who studies drone conflict and is an expert in weapons of large destruction, this is the first sign of an AI being capable of harming humans at will. This is precisely the future scientists against the development of artificial intelligence fear, and perhaps with good merit. Callenborn states, What's clear is this drone was used in the conflict. What's not clear is whether the drone was allowed to select its target autonomously and whether the drone, while acting autonomously, harmed anyone. The UN report heavily implies, but does not state, that it did. The report doesn't mention how the drone acted or how independent in its decisions it seemed. Therefore, the topic is murky and uncertain. Autonomy in weapons is a concept out of a sci-fi novel, yet appears to be a suddenly real apprehension for what might be our future. Ulrich Franke of the European Council claims these systems are quite autonomous. How autonomous is difficult to ascertain, and autonomy is ill-defined anyway, but we know that several manufacturers of loitering munition claim that their systems can act autonomously. Professor James Dawes believes that the result of weapon autonomy could be catastrophic for mankind. He notes that the world's militaries may see this as a sign to try and create rivaling smart weapons which could eventually wipe out the world. Fortunately for the meanwhile, these AI are not at the level of human intelligence yet. However, this also means that any human could be mistaken as a target even if they are not a programmed enemy, meaning it's an immense risk to innocent civilians. Human rights institutions are investigating these claims out of fear of increased bloodshed. Mary Wareham of the Human Rights Watch believes that loitering munitions show how human control and judgment in life and death decisions is eroding, potentially to an unacceptable point. U.S. Army tests its first high-energy laser weapon. The U.S. military created a new high-energy laser they believe will revolutionize their military sway and power. This weapon was tested in Oklahoma at Fort Sill. There, it was placed on an Army Striker Auto. The test revolved around using the laser in close and distant combat. The laser was tested under various strategies and potential hazards to check how it fares in the midst of bloodshed and targeting. The laser-improved strikers are set to become a part of the US military weaponry this year, after their trials yielded successful results. According to Lieutenant General Neil Thurgood, this is the first combat application of lasers for a maneuver element in the Army. This is a gateway to the future. Targets of all sorts were used to test the laser's capabilities, including rockets, armed weapons, and military-grade drones. Although first created in the 1960s, only now are lasers powerful enough to cause the kind of damage they do in fiction. Most importantly, these new lasers are in compact sizes that fit strategically on vehicles, as lasers previously needed to be colossal to be utilized efficiently. Spectral beam combination and engineering technique is used to make these lasers. Several high-energy beams are exerted at once as opposed to a singular ray. The multiple beams combine into one ultra-powerful laser of 50 kilowatts. Within the past several decades, military weaponry has risen considerably due to the large financial costs that go into the US military program. Lasers are a good defense against newly rising weapons such as the aforementioned drones or rockets. The US Navy and Air Force are equally testing out laser technology specific to their needs, such as the Navy's Helios project, meant to mount laser weapons on Burke-class destroyer vessels. We are entering a new technological age of things thought to have once only been the vision of the imagination. Powerful lasers and drones able to take out troops are notions from science fiction novels, 
but also dystopian ones. But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.